All right, one of the last reactions we'll look at here with alkynes is ozonolysis. And we saw ozonolysis with alkenes, and it's going to be a similar process here. And with alkenes, we had the option of either uh, oxidizing or reducing conditions. We'll find out here with the alkyne, it's always going to be oxidizing conditions. And we're going to cleave the carbon-carbon triple bond, both for internal alkynes and terminal alkynes. And generally, we'll form carboxylic acids on both sides. So in this case, we'll have a two-carbon carboxylic acid on the left, that's those two carbons. And then we'll have a three carbon carboxylic acid form, sorry, a four carbon carboxylic acid form on the right hand side. So, and that's your two products. So follow O3 up just with simply water in this case. Uh, when you do this with the terminal alkyne, the result's a little bit funky. So with a terminal alkyne, you get a carboxylic acid on the one side. So in this case, a four carbon carboxylic acid. But on the other hand, side, uh, you'd initially form with that one carbon, you'd form formic acid, which is not the most stable thing in the world, and it actually further oxidizes just to plain CO2. And so for a terminal alkyne, you're going to get CO2 from that side, just something to file away and note. Uh, so for an internal alkyne, two carboxylic acids. For a terminal alkyne, one carboxylic acid and one molecule of CO2.